What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my Nintendo Switch 2019. Keep in mind, uh, I'm not going to be showing you guys any of the games that um, I uh, got in 2017 or 2018. But I do have videos on that if you want to go watch those. Um, and I'll be in the Nintendo Switch videos playlist uh, on my channel page. So... You can go check those out if you want, but anyway, let's get right into the video. Uh, first one here is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I think you guys uh, have, I think there's a video, like, I think by the time I uh, upload this, uh, this, I unbox this game uh, on my channel already, and I really like it. Normally, I don't like uh, puzzle-based games like this one. But this one I actually really enjoyed, and I didn't play it on the Wii U either, so it was a really nice and fresh experience. And I was worried that it wouldn't it would be boring uh, because it would be too easy. But it's not. It's 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 the perfect difficulty where it's not you know it's not that slow, but at the same time you can't just like run around all you want, you know. So. It's it's an absolute joy to play, and I definitely recommend it for anyone, really. Next up, we have Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. This is a continuation of Minecraft Story Mode. And this is, I love all, like, the whole Minecraft Story Mode series. I really think it deserves more attention because the game is just, the story is just so incredible in this. I think people don't really take it seriously because they see Minecraft and think, oh, that's that Minecraft little kid game or whatever. But it's, the story mode is so, so good. Um, and uh, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 is very, um, uh, is very improved uh, from the for, from the original season, so... It's definitely a good uh, game to get if you've got, um, if you played the original season there. Next up, we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This uh, released pretty recently, um, and I'm pretty sure y'all know, um, y'all know a lot about this game already. It's a ton of fun. It's a fighter, um, and I mean, it's Smash Ultimate, uh. And I've played a lot of it so far. I, I have a lot of fun with it, and I still have a lot to do. Um, and I, I already uh, cleared classic mode with every single character and unlocked every single character. That's how much I've been playing this game, and I just love this game. It's such a great game, and I'm so glad that uh, Nintendo made this new Smash Bros. game as good as it is. Next up, we have YouTube. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, I, I may, you know, after I play a game, I may want to check out some YouTube right on my Switch afterwards. So, that's why that's there. We also have Brahalla. This is a really good uh, free eShop game. Uh, it's, uh, it's also a good game to see if you're into sort of Smash Bros. Uh, styled games. And it's very it's a very good game for the price. Um, it is completely free, so it's it's a good it's a good game to get on the eShop. Probably the best this one I'd probably consider the best free game on the eShop. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy I got this on Black Friday, um, but I don't really like it. It's way it gets hard way too quickly. You know the first the first two levels I really liked the game, but it just got hard so quickly, and I just. I just couldn't play it really, it was so hard, so, yeah, I kind of regret buying that game, but still a cool little game to have on the Switch. Next up, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I love this game, it's a platformer, um, and probably my one of my favorite platformers ever made, it's very, very good, um, it has very unique and fun boss battles in every world, um, it's it's an awesome game and it's a part of the from the Wii U version, but I didn't play the Wii U version yet, so that was a nice pickup for uh, for me, and I got it on Black Friday, so that was good. Kirby Star Allies, um, it's a very short game. It took me hardly any time to complete the game. It was fun sometimes. Um, I mean, at the beginning, it was really really easy. 
and I didn't have fun at all, but once you get about halfway through the game, it is pretty fun, and I enjoyed it, but, you know, it's definitely, for $60, it's definitely not worth your money. I got it on Black Friday for 40 but even that, I think it's not, it's not worth it for even 40 so I would definitely stay away from that one. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, uh, I love this game, normally I don't like Pokemon games, but this Pokemon game was so much fun, um, and I think I may even get Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu at some point, because I really want to play this game again, and I think uh, it'd be fun to play it in, on the other games, so yeah, definitely, definitely a must-have, maybe even, uh, on the Switch, because it's such a fun experience. Next we have Bleed. Uh, this is this is a really good Switch game. It's very short, but it's pretty cheap. You know, I got it on sale for I think like less than five dollars, and it's really good. It's like a shooter, uh, a two D shooter where you shoot around um, and you you run and shoot. It's pretty fun. Uh, Batman: The Enemy Within. I did a whole video uh, dedicated to this called. Um, my second favorite third-party game on Switch. Uh, I love the Batman uh, Telltale series. I just love Telltale games in general. That company, I just love the games they make. And yeah, it's an amazing game. Definitely uh, a must-have if you already uh, played the first one. Um, yeah, it's, it's very good. Next, we'll just keep going down. Oh, we have the Nintendo Switch. Uh... Online service, the the NES games on there. I didn't really bother with this that much, um, but it's a nice thing to nice little thing to have on your Switch, um, just in case you feel like playing some Mario or something like that. So it's you know I've played a little bit of it. It's pretty fun, and it's it's just nice to have the option there, even if I don't play it very often. Um, and I think that may be almost it. Oh, I did not uh, talk about this one. This is just the first season of this one up here. Um, and it's it's the Batman the Telltale series is really good. I'd highly recommend it to anyone. Um, really, especially if you like sort of movies or just Telltale games in general. Uh, you'll love this series. We also have Fortnite here. Um, didn't I, I played a good amount of uh, this game on the Switch, but... I played a lot of it on mobile, and I loved it. Like, I was just obsessed with it back when I was uh, first playing it on mobile. But by the by the time it was released on the Switch, I was kind of over it. So I didn't play it that much. But it's a nice uh, th game to have on Switch if you just want to boot it up every once in a while. And it's fun to play with friends as well. It's a very fun multiplayer game. Uh, let's see. Octodad. Um, this is a very short one. Um probably spent no more than 10 hours on this game but it is a very fun game and it's one of those games that was pretty i think i'd say viral uh back when it came out and i saw a lot of youtubers play it so i just had to and it, it's so it's it's good but i don't know if i pay 15 dollars for it um but it is very good it is it sometimes is frustrating but most of the times it's a very fun and unique experience this game is just screams unique you don't see any any other game really like this at all um and who knows maybe they'll make an octodad too because this one was really popular um and really good as well uh let's see i think that's actually yeah i mean i have mario tennis aces the online tournament demo I don't have the game yet because I, I played it uh, at a friend's house and I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. So maybe I'll get it at some point. Um, a couple, like maybe in maybe in 2019 even, but not yet. Um, but I, I did have some fun with this uh, online tournament demo back when it was um, in session. We also have Pokemon Quest. I did not like this game at all, but it's free, so not a bad game to check out you know i heard a lot of people love this game so just it's just not for me but for some people yeah this seems like uh definitely a really good game to check out 
and you know you can just delete it off it's free so I think that is everything new in 2019 man oh man has 2019 been an awesome year for the switch I'd say the best games that came out in 2019 were uh, the Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee and Pikachu, and the uh, Smash Ultimate, and also Minecraft Season 2, even though it's a port. No, it's not a port. It's um, It was released on the Switch, so uh, those Minecraft Se Story Mode Season 2, Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Pokemon Let's Go uh, has, got, has got to be my favorite games, also Batman. I mean, there's just so many great games to get on the Switch now. It's a, it's the perfect time to get a Switch. Um, 2019, and 2019, there's going to be Animal Crossing. Um, we're going to get all kinds of great games. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.